Okay, so let's let's go 50 yard wide shots, okay? What's your 50 yard swing, Arno? Uh, Show me how long it should be back. This. Okay. And then I just add a little bit of power. Oh, okay. What do you think? Um, just doing the opposite of what I'm doing. Yep. What's that one? That's a 55, 60 actually, if it goes further. Does it go further? Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's the full, or that's the... Yeah, that's a 55 yard shot. And what's the miss right now? It's not solid. No. Is it high? High, it could be chunky, it could be thin. Okay. So the, the first thing we're gonna do is, is yeah, get this thing to go back the length you want, okay? And then, I, then we're gonna do another thing. But I gotta see like three where it's like you actually go back the length you're trying to go back. Got it? So I, I think when I look at these, I'm like. I could go 55 or I could go, so 45 for me is shorter than that and just add more. Uh, just do what 50 is, just we'll stick with 50. Okay, give me one more. So that look of swing was better. I know the contact's not great yet. So this is why this is why wedges are are not great right yet. What do you see? This is a tack angle. Down, 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 down. Not shallow. Steep. No, I know, but look at the range. Six, oh, yeah. seven, five, two, seven, two, four, six, five, six, three, yeah. four. So there's not there's not a lot of consistency in that. So I think that's going to be factoring into uh, the hit each time. Go. Okay, now put your right hand on. Okay, do you feel where that is? Yes. Yeah. We'll clarify some more of this stuff in a little bit, but one more time. Oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry, go ahead. Yeah. Good. Yes, that was awesome. Good, Artem. Just do that and stop. Okay, now chip one. Good. Do that again. A couple more of those. But again, on your own. Uh, one more. Back to the start. Okay, go. Okay, stay right there. Yeah, good. Go ahead. Let's see what happens. Do the pause again. Just want to calm that face down. Yeah, good, one more. That was better actually. Do that same thing. Yeah, that was, that's much better. Okay, pause, do that one more time. Pause, backswing. Yeah, and then just chip. Good. Sorry. Okay, you got that? You feel where that is? Yeah, good. Yeah. Okay, so it's there. And start coming through. Yeah, get get a little bit of push. Push off that side. There's nothing to push off. So when you're rotating, okay. Yeah, do it again.
Yeah, uh, sorry, I didn't see. I was looking at the last one. Yeah, this is where, where it was going before. And I want it going that way. Yeah, takeaway, it's nice to see that. Hey Artem, just want to send you a quick review from uh, yesterday. So if we look at um, swing on the left is the start, swing on the right is closer to the end. So as a reference, path on the right, uh, the end swing is zero, 0 path on the left, the start swing was closer to 2 um, into out, 2 to 3, a uh, couple times 4. Um, so as you're taking the club back at the start, you can see the sweet spot wanting to work behind you pretty early. So under, right, arms are a little bit rolled. Um, the end, sweet spot's working much more in front and a lot less wrist motion. And then the next part is we you felt like the swing was slightly shorter, okay? Um, not It's not a ton shorter, just slightly shorter. You see the sweet spot's just a little bit closer to the ground on the swing on the right versus the left one, uh, clubs move further. This was the big difference. So on the left, you can see the sweet spot is going to be quite a bit under. The body hasn't really started to rotate very much. It's just now it's starting to turn a little bit, but basically everything is relatively square um, coming into the ball. It's not very open. So on the right, we got the lower body moving more actively, left leg straightening. Um, and now the sweet spot is tracking much more on top of it. And then you can see you're more open coming into the ball. Pelvis is more open. you got a little bit more space. And then the launch is quite a bit lower. You see how flat that launch was. Where at the start, you were having to work. You can see how you're trying to hold the hands forward and, and take loft off of this. But the launch is still going to be high. Um, and the release is quite a bit different because you've had to push the hand so far forward. Okay, so that's the face on. Or sorry, that's the down the line. I'll go to the face on here. Okay, face on. Um, same sort of tendencies you can see here on the left. This is the start. On the right is where we finished. Um, you can see on the left ball positions a bit further back. Uh, that was just because your body was more square and that was the easiest way for you to sort of trap it. But now that you're rotating more, uh, we move the ball position up. Um, again, this, this was around a 58 yard carry, okay? Um, so that's the start. And then this is the backswing of the, when we got closer to the end. So basically just getting it more efficient so the club is swinging less. It doesn't have to move as much now that we're creating more energy through the body. Um, again, on the first swing, so the body's relatively square here, and you can see you're having to really drive the hands forward. You can see the steepness on this one. So as a reference, the, this one is about, um, the numbers were five into out pathwise. And then you were having a tough time delivering uh, the same amount of attack angle with that movement. And then on the right, body's moving faster. You can see you're hitting it your lower body is much more open and then it's able to track around you easier in the finish and the path on this one was uh, one into out so a lot less into out and it looks like you're hitting it much more with your pivot than with um, your hands so good job there Artem